All right, I want to make a video. So if you look at this, uh, I call these corner marker lights. I was noticing that a corner light marker light was out, and I was like, yeah, I need to fix that light bulb. And then got to looking, and my old work trucks got cracked. So I was like, I need to change that plastic out because what I think happens is water can get in there and cause the light bulb to pop out, if nothing else, because it rains a lot from where I'm at. Um, water and moisture get in there and it causes the connections to corrode and things like that. So I got some and I'm going to try to install them. So hopefully this will, won't be too hard. But So that's what I'm working on. Alright, so this job looks like it's going to be pretty easy. I was looking in here and I, I remember there's little plunger things that stick, hook these two together. And I was looking at the lens and there's a screw there and a screw down there. So all I'm going to do is take off the lens and see what I'm up against, which I've done on this side here. So I just set the screws here. Do not do this. This is bad. Might roll around and lose it in there. Uh, hey, by the way, this is just how I'm doing it. This is not the right way to do it. This is just what I do. It might work. But uh, don't do it the way I do it because it's wrong. Um, so anyways, so this is here. I just took those screws off and it just gently came out. Now I'm pretty lucky and I'll show you a trick when I go to put this together. Basically I've put silicon spray on things like this so when it comes time to take it apart it comes apart easy. And so then I was looking at here so all I did is when I took those screws off this is what happened it just came off like this and this is the light or the electrical connectors so you got to push this tab in and pull this out which is hard to do on one hand and I basically uh I pushed it in a little bit and you can see that this is coming out. So all I'm going to do is push this tab. Let me zoom in for you. See that little tab right there? You just push that in and then this should come out. And I'll find out what that looks like when I get it off. So that's what I'm working on, but I need two hands. Okay, so it came off pretty easy once I got two hands. So again, I just push that tab on and there it's coming off. Now I'm just gonna take this off. So, oh, yeah. See, I don't know if you saw that or if I caught it. Water was coming out of it. There you go. So I'm sure that's not helping anything. So I bought a whole another assembly. I could have bought just um, the lens, probably. But I was trying to color match this, and I don't even know if I did or not. I haven't even looked at the new ones yet. So this just. Usually just twist these, yeah, I twist it, in my case I twist it a little bit to the left. It came out, and that's the bulb. I'll test it, make sure it's bad. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to make sure my new one comes with the bulb. And uh, then put it all back together. But it's going really easy so far. Things to look for, make sure you don't get any corrosion. This is a really nice looking connector. I always like to spray a little contact cleaner in there clean this up and spray some silicon on it so it works really well so I think what I'll do now is get my it looks like uh, this is from the driver's perspective this has an R on it so if you're facing out here you know the right's gonna be on that side I'm assuming that's what that means there oh it's the original Toyota yeah they make good stuff this is a 1991 so however many years it is still running strong from Japan it's probably a really good back end. I should have probably just got just the lens, but anyways, I don't know what I'm going to do with this now. I like the original parts because they're so good. So let me uh, go find my new ones and see what I'm up against. Okay, so here's my new one. It's nice and clean. Uh, it looks to be pretty good quality. Uh, they gave me some new screws, so I'm going to put those in. Hopefully they're as good as the original ones. The original ones, I mean that's a, I don't know how many years old that is, but they still look really good. They're definitely stainless steel. So what I'd like to do, I'll show you some products I use. So I just get some glass cleaner. Uh, and then I spray around here and clean it all up with a microfiber cloth. Cloth to kind of give you an idea how dirty it was. I don't know if this is going to show up. So I didn't clean that area. I just kind of wiped down here. This is all like like that. So I just cleaned it all up in here. Then uh, I spray 
the electrical connection points like right here where the electrical contacts are going to be there's some CRC uh, QD I don't know what that stands for electrical cleaner and then uh, I like really love heavy-duty silicon spray the CRC brand there and I'll spray the connector there and inside there and I actually took this out there's a little rubber o-ring yeah it was like this wow this o-ring still after all these years so many cheap rubber o-rings give out so quickly but that seems still pretty good so essentially I spray this o-ring so it slide in and out make sure you don't get any oils or touch the bulbs or probably won't hurt that but bulbs that get hot tend to burn out quickly so I'll probably shoot a little bit of silicon here I forgot to do that but I did shoot it in the holes any place there's a hole where something's gonna make through so all I'm gonna do now is uh, connect this connector under here and then I'm gonna test the light before I assemble it to make sure it works all right there it goes it looks pretty good um, all I gotta do is push this in those plunger things and put those two screws in and this job's done um, I'll pick it up when it's assembled all right job's done one little tip I'll give you is on mine I tested it I if I screw these screws on all the way um, it'll still be able to turn when they're fully in there and I kind of like that so I did that with both screws then I could set the lens back push it in make sure it's seated real well into those then start screwing them down and just guide it into the little plastic plunger receptacles uh, the color match is pretty good and uh, of course I got a dent in the fender so this is all probably off just a few inches but uh, it's looking good and now I don't have to worry about water getting in there it'll make my light bulbs last longer and don't have to worry about corrosion so it was a really easy job um, so hopefully if you need to get this uh, done you'll find out how you're supposed to do it and don't do it this way but uh worked out for me hope you have a great day and thanks for watching